Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com. Mobile tech in our lives comes in a few different sizes. We have four and five inch smartphones, seven inch mini tablets, and then the 10 inch standard or classic size. Google's just entered that 10 inch space with their Nexus 10. Let's go take a look at it in our full review. The Nexus 10 is built incredibly well and feels remarkably solid. Though only 0.35 inches thin and 603 grams in weight, the tablet feels substantial in hand. And with its super grippy backing, you won't feel like you're going to drop it. The screen is fairly large at 10.05 inches measured diagonally and has a very high resolution, 2560 by 1600, with a pixel density of 300 ppi all powered by an ARM Mali T604 graphics processor. This combination results in a gorgeous display that presents vibrant colors and deep blacks and makes text look almost pixelless for a very pleasant reading experience. Bordering the screen are two front firing speakers that are remarkably loud and provide excellent sound for playing games and watching movies. The Nexus 10 has a dual core Samsung Exynos 5 processor which is based on ARM's Cortex-A15 running at 1.7 GHz and is coupled with 2 GB of RAM. All in all, we love the way the Nexus 10 is built and its specifications make it one of the fastest tablets on the market and its display is absolutely gorgeous. Though we wish Google would bring back the microSD card slot for external expansion. The Nexus 10 is one of the first devices to run Android 4.2, another flavor of Jelly Bean. Being a Nexus device means the Nexus 10 doesn't have any custom skin or launcher and there aren't any proprietary apps pre-installed. Additionally, future updates will be much more timely since they're coming straight from Google. No carriers to get in the way. Android 4.2 brings multi-user support along for the ride, which is ideal since in real world use you're going to probably be sharing this tablet with at least one other person, a family member for example. Android 4.2 brings an updated camera app which runs very smoothly on the Nexus 10. Taking photos, even in photosphere mode, was extremely fast. Overall, the software experience on the Nexus 10 is buttery smooth and everything you'd expect from a flagship Nexus device. Benchmark scores on the Nexus 10 are a mixed bag. See our full review at pocketnow.com for the specific scores. Actual performance, both in everyday use as well as higher-end gaming, are smooth and fluid, with no visible lag. Cameras on tablets are goofy, but the 5 megapixel shooter takes decent pictures and even 1080p HD video at 30 frames per second. Tucked inside the Nexus 10 is a 9000 mAh battery that lasted over 4.5 days in our testing, even with moderate to heavy use. Gaming and movie watching will drain the battery faster, but recharge times are remarkably quick, so you won't have to go without your tablet for very long when it's tethered to your charger. Since the Nexus 10 doesn't currently come in a carrier version, neither LTE or HSPA Plus are supported, so Wi-Fi is vital. As expected, the tablet's Wi-Fi connects quickly, holds that connection reliably, and is very snappy, supporting 802.11a, b, g, and n. As far as tablets go, the Nexus 10 has a lot of competition, including not only other Androids, but Windows Surface and iPads as well. In our testing, the Nexus 10 scores 8.3 out of 10, losing only a few points for the lack of an SD card and some known bugs in Android 4.2 that Google will likely fix in an update, and an odd inverted volume button that works exactly the way you'd expect in landscape, but it's upside down if you ever hold your tablet in portrait. Our full review of the Google Nexus 10 is available over at pocketnow.com. There you'll be able to get the full and detailed benchmark scores, read about some of our day-to-day -day use, you'll even be able to see some photo and video samples and much, much more. If you liked what you saw in this video, please give it a big thumbs up. For Pocket Now, showing off the Nexus 10 from Google, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.